Good morning, good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I hope everybody's killing it today. In today's episode, we got Jeep mods, we got Lambo mods. We're running incredibly late, and unfortunately, we still have 80 miles to go for the 500 mile break-in period. This is, this is simply too good of an opportunity. Wow, back here at Make Some Models. Pretty much my second home, it seems like, nowadays. Oh, what's up, guys? I got my Stanley Fat Max. Well, it's actually my buddy Nick's. Nick, you don't know this, but I'm borrowing your Fat Max. The first rule of supercar ownership is you never get caught with your front end lift up. And ever since I got these new wheels, I've been riding high. So today we're getting the car lowered. We're not looking to join Stance Nation, but obviously the car needs a slight lowering, especially there in the back. Right now, we have approximately two inches between the top of the tire and the bottom of the fender, approximately an inch and a half. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we lower it a half inch in the front and we lower it an inch in the back. That's the tentative plan. The last thing we ever want to get into the habit of is a moment of silence for my front end splitter. And so we don't want to go too low. We want to balance practicality with styling. So currently, if I grab, if I grab the Fat Max, how much clearance do I have? Right now I have a little less than five inches of clearance. Of course, I have the front end lift, which raises it a little bit more. Speaking of, let's raise it. We've initiated off-road mode. We have roughly seven inches of clearance, so the front end lift raises it two inches up. A really nice feature of this car is it has adjustable coilovers, so it's simply just gonna take a tool and a little bit of adjustment here makes some models. Um, brighten up, brighten up, brighten up. We can only take it down a maximum of maybe three quarters of an inch. I have the tinted tail lights. This one has the stock ones. These look really, really pink. What do you guys think? Which do you like more? This one also has a carbon fiber rear diffuser. And considering the girth of that exhaust pipe, we can only assume this car is extremely loud. We have a Bentley rolling in. I'm hoping this is my loaner vehicle, but for some odd reason, I don't get the impression it is. I texted Make Some Models about an hour ago this morning to see if they could get me in to lower the car. Obviously from a scheduling standpoint, they can do it, but the car won't be done until tomorrow, and so they've given me this sick BMW loaner car. It's a diesel. Anyways, the next time we see the Gallardo, Stance Nation, Stance Nation. Not really, but Girth Nation, Girth Nation. That is gorgeous. You know what? Yep, we gotta go check that out. Could this be the color that I wrapped the Gallardo this winter? That is gorgeous, wow. I'm dropping the Gallardo off today. I'll be picking it up tomorrow. That's still gonna be a part of this vlog. So by the end of today's vlog, you guys will see what the Gallardo looks like when it's lowered. But now we're headed back down to Salt Lake City. We're gonna go pick up a, a part. Yeah, we're gonna go pick up a part for the Wrangler. So stay tuned. Perfect, we got tons and tons of parking. Now that I drive a BMW, I gotta park like a BMW driver. We're here at Four Wheel Parts. We're gonna go pick up well, you're gonna have to find out and see what we're gonna pick up. I'm just kidding you guys, I triggered you guys. I can see you, you were typing comments up away. You were typing comments up away, don't worry. Don't worry. I don't know, what can I say? Sometimes it's just fun to trigger. Didn't necessarily think this all the way through, but I think we'll make it work. Perfect. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're welcome. We've got a front spot. This is pretty big news. I got a date. Your boy's got a date tonight. Obviously, right now, this is not very presentable. Gotta get a haircut. What do you guys think? What do you think? Looks pretty good. Today's video could not be filmed without my partnership with Dollar Shave Club. They're hooking me up and they're helping me get my Gallardo lowered today. For five bucks only, you can get the Dollar Shave Club Trial Starter Kit. It includes all your grooming essentials. Everything is mailed directly to you. You get your shave butter, your body cleanser, your premium razor, plus additional cartridges, and the One Wipe Charlie's butt wipes. It's only five bucks, it's for a limited time only. Link in the description below, dollarshaveclub.com slash stradman. As most of you guys can relate, as a guy, we have literally no idea what we're doing when it comes to grooming. So let Dollar Shave Club do all the work 
for you. No longer do you need to go to the store looking for grooming products. There's a million different options. Everything appears to be the same. Now you can just chill on your couch, grab a food vlog, check the mail, Dollar Shave Club will hook you up. Five bucks only. If you need more cartridges, it's just a couple bucks a month. DollarShaveClub.com slash Stradman. This is a soft top for the Wrangler. I probably should have bought this maybe at the beginning of summer rather than the first week of September, but that's irregardless. A bunch of hardware in here. Instructions. Before installing your soft top, read all the instructions thoroughly. Step one, this is the rear door surround. It's gonna go in like so. There we go. Ready? We're currently at world record pace. We got the front door surround installed, the rear door. We're just cruising. This is all we do. This is what we do, we win. Removed. Things are getting serious. We're cutting. Cut a horizontal slit the same width as the cable bracket in the sport bar cover, one quarter inch below the zipper and align with the bolt hole. Okay, cut has been made. Yeah, so I kind of snaked you guys. I've done a ton of work and haven't filmed any of it because it's kind of an awkward spot to film. Yeah, there we go. Bam. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a lesson. Don't ever do that. Tailgate, bar mount. Bam. These are referred to as side bows, and they have this quick release right here. Put that down. There we go. We've discovered one of the flaws of working in the parking garage. I need to fold this up over, but we hit the ceiling. Yeah! That's how it's done. Bam! The fun is beginning. We're installing the side windows. That took a lot of effort. Goodness, you guys know how important hydration is. It's not a paid product placement. I'm just generally enjoying this Gatorade. I thought I was done, and then I realized I messed up. I need to link the top of the rear window to the top of the soft top. So I had to undo all this bottom stuff so it's loose once again. So close yet so far. <laughs> yeah, that took, uh, that took slightly longer than two hours, but we are done. We are finally finished. The hardest part about it was the access. If I had like a step ladder, would have made the job significantly easier. I love this slant back here on the rear window though. The main reason I wanted a soft top was to easily remove it when the weather's nice. I'm starting to realize that taking this thing on and off is gonna be quite a burden. First thing in the morning, we are going to get the Lambo. Oh, what is that? What, what do we have back there? Hmm. Oh, where's it going? No! Good afternoon, welcome back to the vlog. Back here at Make Some Models to uh, pick up the Gallardo, introducing Stance Nation. I just saw the car go around the corner right there. I'm snaking you, I can see the car right now. Woo! And I am fun. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, now we are rolling. Wow. The most subtle difference in the world makes all the difference. Wow. Drop it roughly a half inch up front and an inch in the back. Goodness gracious. See you, Hamilton. We see you. We've got a double dog vlog going on right uh -oh. now. We have done it. We have done it. This is exactly how the Lamborghini Gallardo should have come from the factory. It is the perfect stance. There's no rubbing of any kind. We don't need to do a moment of silence for the front splitter either. Roughly they dropped the front end about a half inch and the back an inch, give or take. Just a little bit, just to make it perfect. Wow, makes the models killed it. I'm so glad that I finally took care of this.
and you guys thought I was gonna snake you. No, of course, I got all the facts and figures, the data that you guys know and love. So we lowered the Gallardo, and then of course we had to do an alignment as well. Complimentary loaner vehicle, the BMW 328D. We had some shop supplies, some tax, out the door, $512.86. Best 500 bucks I've ever spent. What do you guys think should be the NYX mod for the Gallardo? I personally have a savings account set up for an exhaust right now. Well, that's gonna have to happen here pretty soon. And then with the Wrangler, there's just an assortment of things that need to happen. I actually have some tires, but I need wheels. And, well, tires are no good without the proper wheels. So, that is to come soon. Man, that guy Erdo looks ridiculous. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.